parked in the Yanvaya car park and uh, that's one of those Methodist chapels that have been converted into uh, a private house. This, uh, when I first came here, this was uh, one of the, uh, considered one of the, uh, well, one of the villages that uh, kind of gained, he, he kind of uh, obtained an award for being the best kept village. But I, think, but I haven't seen uh, any plaques recently, uh, so that uh, it's since uh, lost that uh, title. One of the attractive cottages of the village just recently been sold. And while I'm here, I'll just go and have a quick walk around the the outskirts of uh, or the outside of. Uh, Jan Vaya Church. Yeah, I won't go inside the church. In fact, I don't think it's a. I don't think you can really walk around the church. Well, you have to make your own way uh, around the church. But uh, here's the old graveyard, 1799. So the graves in this churchyard are, uh, are quite old. I think some of them. Uh, just I can just make out. Uh, the date is 1721 on this uh, particular gravestone. That's a more recent gravestone, but still 50 years old, if you can call that recent. Departed this life in 1971. I said that, I turned around, and this one has a date of well, that's just four years. At least uh, uh, the original grave, I think, was 1957. And over there is the is the more recent, uh, well, the up-to-date cemetery, where the flowers uh, indicate uh, recent uh, burials, and people are still remembered here. The old graveyard. Uh, Maybe with one or two exceptions, all long forgotten. Now, uh, Jan Vaya, uh, they did have they did have a, a quarry here, uh, well, about a hundred years ago, and uh, they have um, they have uh, Jan Vaya caverns. It's open to, to open for visitors, but um, <laughs> of course not uh, not during the current time with the. Uh, with that uh, lockdown in effect. Going around this churchyard, I have the opportunity of peering into someone's uh, uh, back garden and then look at that flower garden there, <laughs> hidden away with a dove cut. Uh, washing hanging out, and then look at that, that's, that's nice eh? Yeah, yeah, nice picnic area. these old graveyards and churches they're so peaceful uh, peaceful sanctuaries from now these uh, quite elaborate uh, graves here are, I think the early the early 19th century for the most part uh, predate the reign of Victoria or attractive cottage the uh, village here and take this footpath. No. Now uh, we did have a, just a few hours of light rain uh, recently but it's been dry dry and you can what well, you can see it's gone yellow here the grass uh, and I think it's going to stay dry, largely dry anyway, uh, for the next two weeks. Okay, I start uh, climbing uphill now, and uh, proof positive that I'm on a public right away, right there. Okay, there you can see the the ocean blue. 
And uh, th these kind of plants here, they're all over the place, they're kind of invasive. Uh, they do briefly come out into kind of like a purple flower, which is good for the butterflies, but uh, they basically take over. So uh, I had them in my garden, well I had to get rid of them. Start a little bit of a woodland area here, there's a nice oak tree there. Uh, so I start my uh, fairly steep climb here, up, up this slope. It's not, uh, well it is used this footpath, but and not, 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 not used that much I think, but there we go, there's steps all the way. It's a steep ascent. And luckily um, it's dry and uphill so no problem. And they're continuing upwards. I'm breaking out into the open here. That's uh, roughly 200 foot of ascent there. Just a few feet more to get to the tarmac lane. Reach the tarmac lane. There's the old churchyard down there. Shell Island over there. Now from here you can see St. Patrick's Causeway. I've never actually can remember seeing it, but it's a bit, bit, bit misty today. But it stretches. Oops, one's coming. Okay, I just came a few feet along this lane to uh, this. It, this ends at a, a farmhouse. What's well, probably no longer used as a farmhouse. Oops, so I arrived here. A car pulled up, and uh, visitors. I just came here just to show uh, the Rinogs in the back. I'm not sure if I can be able to see them later on in this walk. Seems fairly friendly. Oh, timid. Uh, no, I don't know. That, 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 I'm pretty sure that's not the... Well, no, that's just a current. The effect of the current. I don't know if you can pop, make it out there. The St. Patrick's Causeway. No, that wouldn't be. It's just a two currents coming together. Okay, so I'll leave this little. Uh, uh, well, this at this point is a track, and go up. Uh, yeah, just go up this footpath here, uh, which uh, quite a quite a nice little footpath uh, with good views of the uh, of the ocean blue or brine. Yeah, there's a good view now of uh, the village, Yan Fire. By the coast there is the village of Yan Danwig. And uh, there's, uh, there's the upper part of Yan Fire, new housing estates. wanders through some uh, gorse bushes there and uh, here's a little field with all these little yellow flowers they're not buttercups and they're not dandelions they're uh, don't know the name of it but uh, they're very very common now at this point on this walk uh, the footpath signs disappear but as I say as I've done this walk before uh, I know where the uh, where the path goes. Okay, there we go. The gate hidden away. Uh, a little bit difficult to spot if, uh, if you're not uh, haven't done this walk before. Okay, so uh, this is uh, this part. This part of the path is quite well trodden because it's used by the local dog walkers. Uh, pretty handy uh, for the likes of me. Yeah, okay, there's that. Uh, I just exited that little uh, patch of woodland there, and shortly I'll be entering a housing estate. Now, this is only a short circular walk around the village of Yan Vaya, but uh, it's pleasant enough for us to while away an hour or so. out here onto the, uh, the tarmac uh, road of this village 
well, not this housing estate, I should say. The footpath continues down there, but I'll, oh, yeah, they're nice houses. Yeah, there's a nice house there, new windows by the look of it. Up for sale by Tom Parry. <laughs> Uh, I just this this is an example of those kind of like yellow flowered weeds uh, that spring up on, on well they seem to thrive on the dry weather more traffic on the road now I think they've eased the lockdown restrictions a bit that's the name of the uh, that street where I've just come down and uh, yeah, that's, this is the old Yanvar Road. So, coming to the end of this walk now. Curious uh, feature of the footpath sign. It appears that you have to climb over a seven foot high wall. But no, this is the actual, uh, where the footpath sign, that's an actual uh, right of way here. Uh, it uh, leads actually onto that footpath that uh, I just came down towards the, you know, a bit further up. Uh, that, uh, that little uh, plaque there says 1863. It's in Welsh, so I don't know what it means. That's a bed and breakfast, <laughs> but uh, there's no customers today. bus stop or bus shelter. Nice houses again. Okay, Martha and uh, there's roses there climbing up that uh, old house. Yeah, nice. Plenty of little uh, flowering uh, flowers in there. Well, in pots. There's another cul-de-sac with new, newish houses built. And that's where I, I walked along that, that where that wall is on the on the, on the uh, horizon there. Those uh, were they still actually are council houses, but I think they were originally council houses. Every village has them. For the uh, well, uh, people who can't afford the price of the new houses. It's the end of this walk now, but I just point out this. This is a the the, uh, the village hall. It's a memorial hall built for in memory of the of, of the people that have, uh, well lost their lives in the First World War, 1914-1918. And uh, it's the memorial stone, the uh, placard, or yeah. And uh, up above you have the, uh, the Second World War. Some people lost their lives in that uh, conflict. Yeah, so that, uh, yeah, it's now the village hall. The hall is uh, this chapel, now a private home, Bethel, AD 1867. Okay, so that's the end of this walk. Quite a nice walk, I enjoyed it. There's a footpath there going, goes down to the, well, goes down to the coast, about less than a mile. 